Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am outside of my garage because it is loud inside. But I just wanna do a little intro for this video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a power hour and I haven't done one of these in a while. Actually, I think I might've done one last month or the month before that, but I love doing power hours because they're so easy and sometimes I feel really overwhelmed with the amount of work I have to do. So just telling myself to just work for an hour and then be done is what I like to do on really busy days. So I have my niece and my nephew here today. We had a party last night at our house. And so our house is really messy and it's probably a little more than an hour worth of cleaning, but I'm just gonna do an hour because I have way too much other things going on today are way too many other things going on. So Kimberly from Style Mom XO made up this power hour a long, long time ago and I've kind of just always kept it in the back of my mind of a way to actually clean, not just a video for you guys. So I do this on a regular basis even if I'm not filming it. So anyways, we're gonna start, we're gonna work for an hour and then we're gonna be done. Okay, we are starting this power hour at 1230, which means one thing, and that is we just had lunch and the house looks like a disaster, especially with my niece and nephew here. My nephew doesn't eat food yet, but my niece does. So it's Jackson, Piper, and my niece that ate, and I made food for them and me as well. And then Chris also made food. That's his easy cheese that I just put away. But usually when I'm cleaning the kitchen, I let the kids kind of finish what they're eating. Um, there were some stuff that I just put in the trash can from like some leftovers that we ended up not eating. Um, and then I usually just take everything and put it in the sink. That way I'm only doing the dishes one time. But if the kids are still eating, then I try to kind of let them finish up. And a lot of times I have to leave the food there um, because they will get distracted and not want to eat, but I don't want to take the food away and then they'll end up coming back. So let me know down in the comments if your kids do that. They've been doing it a lot more lately. I really try to tell them that if they get up then they're done, but I also feel bad if they're not hungry or something and then like in 30 more minutes they're hungry. I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling with this because I also don't want to have food sitting out all day long either and I really do think they need to sit down and eat. So now that I just went on a rant there, um, this is what I'm doing. I'm cleaning up the kitchen. So for my niece, she has a bib that I just clean off and I dry really quick. Depends on what she ate, will depend on how messy it is. And this is her lunchbox. I usually don't empty it just so her mom and dad can see what she ate when she was here. And then I'm putting all of her stuff back in her lunchbox. That way when her mom comes to get her, everything is ready to go and they're not looking for all their things. Wanna move my feet? Wanna move my mind? Wanna move my feet. Wanna drink my wine. Wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet. Wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet. About this time is when I like to do a little vacuuming between River's hair and the kids' crumbs from breakfast and lunch. It's about that time. So before I vacuum, I like to wipe off the counters. Again, I don't do like a really big wipe down because I do that every single evening after dinner. But I do want to get all the crumbs off and any residue from like yogurt or whatever the kids were eating, like I said, for breakfast and lunch. I kind of just um, get all the crumbs and shoo them off on the floor. What's the word? I don't know. Scoop them to the, to the floor. And then I vacuum. So I'm always um, wiping everything first. And I wipe the counters and I also wipe the chairs.
Okay, so I just want to give you an overview of what the floor in the living room looked like after a morning with three, actually four little kids. Um, also, we got some groceries, so there's dog food, and I need to clean all of this up. Obviously picking everything up first before vacuuming is what I'm doing and I also try to get my niece and my kids to help me clean but a lot of the time they're off doing their own thing but look how cute my niece is helping me clean up. I just hope you know my depth. So the vacuuming is sort of just like the wiping the counters down. I really just vacuum up any crumbs that I see and any clumps of dog hair that I see. And then on Fridays, I do a really big vacuum and mop of the entire house. So pretty much every single day after lunch, I do this little vacuum. That way I don't really vacuum at all in the morning or really in the evening either. I just have this time designated to go around the house and vacuum up crumbs and dog hair. Baby, I'm the one who's breaking hearts The one who's breaking hearts The kids also played up in the playroom a little bit. This actually isn't too bad. It looks like they ended up just taking a lot of stuff out of this white trunk, which is like their dress up trunk. I really need to figure out a different way to keep all of their masks and dress up things together. I really don't know. You can see all of their 
actual dress up costumes are hanging up next to the bench, but everything else is in this thing. And if they have to find one thing, they have to take everything out of the bench and then it never gets put back in. So then the room ends up looking a lot messier than it should be. But the girls were doing really good at helping me clean up. Give me my heart back somebody stole it and put it in your That's it. That was our one hour. That's it guys. The hour usually goes by super fast, but I feel good about everything that I got done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you guys next time for some more cleaning motivation. Bye.